ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsani ila yamiddin amma ba'd Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa ahlu uqadatan min lisani yuffahu qawli Rabbi yassir wa la tu'assir wa tanmimhu bil khair wa bika nasta'in Ya Fattah, Ya Fattah, Ya Fattah Subhanaka la ilma lana illa ma'allamtana
السلام عليكم السلام عليكم ورحمه الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد I'll begin again إن شاء الله I think there was some problem with the internet connection رب شرح لي صدري ويسل لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإذ أخذنا ميثاق بني إسرائيل لا تعبدون إلا الله وبالوالدين إحسانا وبذي القربى واليتامى إحسانا وذي القربى واليتامى والمساكين وقولوا للناس حسنا وأقيموا الصلاة وآتوا الزكاة ثم توليتم إلا قليلا منكم وأنتم معرضون Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is mentioning here that about the promise the Bani Israel that we took the promise from Bani Israel وإذ أخذنا we took ميثا قبني the promise from Bani Israel لا تعبدون إلا الله that worship only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he's saying only worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he's saying وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا Be kind to your, towards your parents. وَذِي الْقُرْبَى And also your relatives. And وَالْيَتَامَى And also the orphans. وَالْمَسَاكِينَ And also the poor people. وَقُولُوا لِلنَّاسِ And be kind. Speak kind. Have, have good manners. وَقُولُوا لِلنَّاسِ حُسْنًا To the people. Have good manners. Speak, uh, speak kind. Speak kindly to the people. وَأَقِيمُوا الصَّلَى And also establish salah. So obviously from this verse that uh, from this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is talking about the akhlaq and, you know, being kind to your parents. It's not something that uh, we should take it as a, something small. This is obviously Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's talking about being kind not only to your parents, but also your relatives, do not cut ties. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, people, they respect the wealthy and the lofty and those people who have wealth and the rich. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying also, no, be kind to those who are poor. What we think is that, no, we, we are better than them and uh, stop caring about them. No, that's not how we should be, right? We should we should respect them. We should treat them kind. And waqul in nasi husna, be speak kindly to them, speak kindly to the people. Wa aqimu sala, establish sala, wa atu zaka, give zaka, fi matawalaitum illa qalila minkum. And thereafter, meaning after accepting the terms of the promise, the Bani Israel, all or be, all besides a few of them turned away. This few of you turned away, and showing no concern. All besides of you, besides of the Bani Israel, turned away, right? showing no concern. In the next verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, That we have also taken a promise. Remember also that we took a promise from you. We have taken a promise from you that when you, when you, uh, that you will not spill, that you will not shed blood. You will not shed your blood. لا تسفكون دماءكم ولا تخرجون أنفسكم and that you will not exile or you will not expel. You will not drive out yourselves. ولا تخرجون أنفسكم من دياركم You will not drive out yourselves, each other from your homes. ثم أقررتم Thereafter you agreed, standing, right? As وأنتم تشهدون as witnesses over yourselves. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says ثم أنتم هؤلاء تقتلون أنفسكم then you, you who, Antum, who is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talking about? The Bani Israel, the Jews. That you are the ones who, who killed yourselves. You killed each other. And expelled a group of your people. You expelled a group of your people uh, from, from their homes. You took out a group of your people from your home. And sinfully and unjustfully assisting others to fight against them. Right? 
uh, unjustfully, sinfully, tawaharun alayhim bil ithmi wal udwan, assisting them with, you know, being uh, sinfully and unjustful, uh, unjustly, you are as, as assisting them to others to fight. Tawaharun alayhim bil ithmi wal udwan, wa iya tukum usara tufaduhum. And if they, meaning your own people who you fought, if you they your own people who who you fought come to you as prisoners, you would ransom them. Tufaduhum wahwa muharramun alaykum. Wahwa muharramun alaykum ikhrajuhum. That you uh, that if they came, if they come to you as prisoners, you would ransom them, right? Claiming that your religion claim commands you to set prisoners free on ransom. أَفَتُؤْمِنُونَ بِبَعْضِ الْكِتَابِ وَتَكْفُرُونَ بِبَعْضِ Right? Whereas, um, uh, um, whereas expelling them was forbidden for you. أَفَتُؤْمِنُونَ بِبَعْضِ الْكِتَابِ وَتَكْفُرُونَ بِبَعْضِ وَهُوَ مُحَرَّمٌ عَلَيْكُمْ إِخْرَاجُهُمْ Whereas expelling them was forbidden for you. Right? In the first place. أَفَتُؤْمِنُونَ بِبَعْضِ الْكِتَابِ وَتَكْفُرُونَ بِبَعْضِ Do you believe in a part of the book? Meaning the part of concerning the ransom of prisoners. And reject the part. Reject a part. Do you believe in a part of the book? And do you reject a part of the book? Is that, you know, is this what you're doing? That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, what else can be the punishment for those of you who perpetrate, who do this besides Disgrace in the worldly life and being a sub, being subjected to and given to the, the severest punishment on the day of Qiyamah. فَمَا جَزَاءُ مَنْ يَفْعَلُ ذَلِكَ You know what? Um, what? What else can be the punishment? فَمَا جَزَاءُ مَنْ يَفْعَلُ ذَهُ Who did this? ذَلِكَ مِنْكُمْ إِلَّا خِزْيٌ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا Of those who do this and besides this, who have disgrace in this worldly life and they have been given, they have been given a uh, punishment and uh, the severest punishment on that day of Qiyamah right Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah is not unaware of what you do Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows everything what you do right they would uh, accept some of the book and leave some of it this is not how even nowadays we people start doing it. They take some of what, some of it in the Quran. Some stuff they accept in the Quran. Some stuff, some of them they leave. No, right? It has to be that you accept everything. Whatever is the message in the Quran, you have to accept, right? Uh, the next Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentions, These are the ones who have purchased the life. Who have purchased the life of this world. In exchange, bil akhirah. In exchange for the akhirah, فلا يخفف عنهم العذاب. فلا يخفف عنهم العذاب ولا هم ينصرون. The punishment will neither be lessened. فلا يخفف. It will not be less lessened. عنهم العذاب. The punishment from them. ولا هم ينصرون. And they will not be assisted also. So the punishment will not be less, nor they will not be assisted. And the next, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, وَلَقَدْ آتِنَا مُوسَ الْكِتَابَ وَقَفَّيْنَا مِنْ بَعْدِهِ بِالرُّسُلِ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, undoubtedly, right? وَلَقَدْ آتِنَا مُوسَ الْكِتَابَ Definitely we gave the book to Musa alayhi salam, وَقَفَّيْنَا مِنْ بَعْدِهِ And وَقَفَّيْنَا مِنْ بَعْدِهِ بِالرُّسُلِ um, We gave the book, undoubtedly we gave the book to Musa alayhi salam, and we sent وَقَفَّيْنَا مِنْ بَعْدِهِ بِالرُّسُلِ And we sent messengers after him, after Musa alayhi salam. مِنْ بَعْدِهِ بِالرُّسُلِ One after another. وَآتِنَا عِيسَ بِنَ مَرْوِيَمَ الْبَيِّنَاتِ And we also, we, وَآتِنَا عِيسَ بِنَ مَرْوِيَمَ الْبَيِّنَاتِ And we gave clear signs, right? Clear signs such as what? Bringing the dead back to life, curing the blind and people who suffered from leprosy. Uh, we gave clear signs to Isa ibn Maryam, to Isa alayhi salam. Right, the son of Maryam. وَأَيَّدْنَاهُ and strengthen and to strengthen him بِرُوحِ الْقُدُسِ with the رُوحِ الْقُدُسِ with the uh, angel with the angel Jibreel عليه السلام who was with Isa عليه السلام wherever he went. أَفَكُلَّمَا جَاءَكُمْ Why is it that أَفَكُلَّمَا جَاءَكُمْ رَسُولٌ بِمَا لَا تَهْوَى Why is it that every time a messenger 
came to you بما لا تهوى انفسكم مستكبرتم with that with what did not appeal to your desires you behaved uh, استكبرتم you behave arrogantly ففريقا كذبتم so you denied a part or you, you denied a, 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 a party basically a group of messengers وفريقا تقتلون and a part of a, a group of them you killed another so some of the, you know, the because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala obviously Musa alayhi salam after Musa alayhi salam so many anbiya alayhi salam came right after so what happened so some of them the, the, the Bani Israel the Jews they killed some of the anbiya and they rejected some of the anbiya so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala why what happened why are you, why are you behaving arrogantly now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala next I said وَقَالُوا قُلُوبُنَا غُلْفِ that they the Jews وَقَالُوا قُلُوبُنَا غُلْفِ the Jews mockingly they say to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, قُلُوبُنَا غُلْفِ Our hearts are covered. Right? بَلْ لَعَنَهُمُ اللَّهِ Not all. لَعَنَهُمُ اللَّهِ The truth is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cursed them. بِكُفْرِهِمْ Due to their kufru. Due, due to uh, because of their disbelief. فَقَلِيلًا مَّا يُؤْمِنُونَ And the result is that there are very few of them who have iman. Very few of them who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ كِتَابٌ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ When a book, when the Qur'an, kitab here, the Qur'an, when, it, when the book, when the Qur'an from Allah comes to them, مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, مُصَدِّقُ لِمَا مَعَهُمْ that is confirming, which is supporting, لِمَا مَعَهُمْ that which is with them, meaning the Torah. Right? When the book, when the, when the Qur'an comes, supporting, uh, when a book, the Qur'an comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is supporting, which is confirming, that which is with them, meaning the Torah. مكانوا من قبل مكانوا من قبل يستفتحون على الذين كفروا وكانوا من قبل يستفتحون على الذين كفروا أن they used to even though they used to وكانوا من قبل يستفتحون على الذين كفروا so Allah subhanahu wa taala is talking about when um, when we when we sent on the book the Quran uh, that من عند الله from Allah subhanahu wa taala مصدق لما معهم which is confirming which is supporting the book which is with them meaning the Torah وكانوا من قبل um, they rejected وَكَانُوا مِنْ قَبْلُ يَسْتَفْتِحُونَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ كَفْرُوا even though before this وَكَانُوا مِنْ قَبْلُ before this they used to pray for uh, victory over the kuffar right they rejected the, and they, uh, they used to pray for victory over the kuffar by saying right oh Allah assist us against our enemies right uh, assist us against our enemies uh, against our enemies though that the, the grace through the through the grace of your of the final messenger of the final prophet Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, so even though they used to before this they used to pray for victory through them, you know, through through saying uh, over the kuffar by saying, oh "Allah help us, help us against the enemies," through the grace of your final of the final prophet Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, they used to say this. جاءهم عرفوا. However, when what they Recognized came from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Ma'arafu kafaru bi. So they denied it. When it came, they recognized it came. Uh, it, it, when it came to them, the Prophet of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam kafaru bihi. They denied it. They rejected, fearing why? Why did they reject it? Because fearing that they will lose their leadership. Falaanatullahi al kafir. Allah's curse is on the kafir. The next ayah, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is talking about bi samash taro bihi and fusham an yafuru bima anzar Allah. Evil is that the price for which the Jews and Fusahum Ayyak Furubi, which they have, the Jews have sold their souls. Wait, the Bani Israel they have sold their soul, they have sold their souls and Yak Furubi Bima and Zerallah that they disbelieve in Bima and Zerallah in what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed, meaning the Quran. Baghian and Yuna Zirallah that uh, the jealous of the fact that. And in Baghdad, that they're jealous of the fact that Ayyunazir Allah, that Allah sends uh, Ayyunazir Allah min fadli, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends his kindness upon whichever mu'min ibadi, 
from of uh, upon whichever of his slaves. فباؤوا بغضب على غضب he chose فباؤوا بغضب على غضب Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, so he chooses uh, so they earn فباؤوا بغضب على غضب so they earn the anger upon anger فباؤوا بغضب على غضب وللكافرين عذاب مهين and there shall be a humiliating punishment for the kuffar they'll be humiliated and uh, obviously they earned the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because they rejected Isa alayhi salam, they rejected other prophets that came, right? And uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa of, of course. And, uh, and they changed the Torah because of that. that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala angers upon them for rejecting Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa for changing the, the Torah about Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa And the next Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about them, he says, وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ آمِنُوا بِمَا أَنزَلَ اللَّهِ when the one day the Bani Israel are told with Aminu that have Iman in what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed, Aminu Bima and Zerallah, in what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed in the Quran, Qalu Nu'min, they say we believe Bima and Bima Unzir Arina, we believe in what was revealed to us. Nu'minu Bima Unzir Arina, Wayak Furuna Bima Wara'a. They say Nu'minu Bima Unzir Arina, they believe in what was revealed to us upon uh, upon us, meaning the Torah, Wayak Furuna Bima Wara'a, and and they disbelieve in everything else, bima wara'a, everything, everything else, even though, even though it is a truth which confirms, which supports that, 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 what is, uh, that which is with them, meaning the Torah. It confirms with the Torah, it supports the Torah, but even then they reject it. Tell them. Why did you murder Anbiya Allah, the prophets, the messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, min qabl, before, in kuntum mu'mineen, if you are believers, right, as you claim. If you really believe in Torah and you claim it, then why did you murder the prophets, the Anbiya, Ali salatu wasalam, when the Torah clearly prohibits this, when the Torah clearly made a haram upon them, right? This verse is addressed to all the Jews, to all the um, uh, Bani Israel, because although it was their uh, forefather, forefathers, who had murdered the Anbiya, the Jews who came after them approved of what, what their forefathers did. And they approved of it, right? And also they didn't accept Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the next uh, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, وَلَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ مُوسَى بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ ثُمَّ اتَّخَلْتُمُ الْعِجْلَ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ وَأَنْتُمْ ظَالِمُونَ Verily Musa Alayhi Salaam, وَلَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ مُوسَى Verily Musa Alayhi Salaam came to you بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ with clear signs ثُمَّ اتَّخَلْتُمُ الْعِجْلَ But then you started, then you started worshiping the calf, right? And you were, you became oppressors, right? This is where we discussed this uh, before. Allah, uh, when Musa alayhi salam, he went and they started worshiping the calf. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, Remember, when we took a promise from you, that you, obviously that you obey the commandments, right? In the Torah. Um, after when you refuse to carry this, carry out this promise, what did you do? Then what do we do? We raise Mount Tur above you. We raise Mount Tur above you, right? Scaring the Bani Israel. And then Allah says, Hold fast to what we have given you. Hold fast to what we have given you. وَاسْمَعُوا and listen. When you listen to the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, otherwise the mountain will be dropped on you. Qalu, what did they say? Right? But they started being very disrespectful. They said, Qalu, sami'na wa asina. We hear and we disobey your command. Right? Because because of their kufr, the love of the, the calf was absorbed and soaked into their hearts. Because of the kufr, because of the disbelief, the uh, the the love of the the because of the kufr, the the love of the calf was absorbed and soaked into their hearts. Tell them, the evil indeed is that the worship. Uh, that the worship of the calf and the rejection of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, which your belief in Torah orders you to do, 
in kuntum mu'minin if you really are people who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Next, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قُلْ إِنْ كَانَتْ لَكُمُ الدَّارُ الْآخِرَةُ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ قُلْ إِنْ كَانَتْ لَكُمُ الدَّارُ الْآخِرَةُ Say, إِنْ كَانَتْ لَكُمُ الدَّارُ الْآخِرَةُ If the home, if your home is لَكُمُ الدَّارُ الْآخِرَةُ The Akhirah, the Jannah, right? If the home of the Akhirah, the Jannah is entirely for you and for no one, خَالِي صَتَمْ It's only for you, خَالِي صَتَمْ مِنْ دُونِ النَّاسِ And not for anyone else as you claim. فَتَمَنَّوُ الْمَوْتِ Then wish for death in كُتُمْ صَادِقِينَ If you are really, if you are truthful and if you really believe that Jannah is only for you, then why do you not wish for early death? Why don't you just die? Why don't you hope for death? Right? So that you can reach Jannah sooner if, you, if, you, if, it's, if that's what you claim, if your claim is true. Why do you fear death then? But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, وَلَنْ يَتَمَنَّوْهُ أَبَدًا However, they shall never, they will never ever wish for death because بِمَا قَدَّمَتْ أَيْدِينَ Because of the evil actions, because of the evil doings that they have committed. Because of the evil, بِمَا قَدَّمَتْ أَيْدِينَ Because of the evil actions that they have committed. وَاللَّهُ عَلِيمٌ بِالظَّانِيَ That their hands have sent, obviously, قَدَّمَتْ أَيْدِينَ That their hands have sent ahead to the Akhirah. وَاللَّهُ عَلِيمٌ بِالظَّارِمِينَ Allah has perfect knowledge about the oppressors. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, وَلَا تَجِدَنَّهُمْ أَحْرَاسَ النَّاسِ عَلَىٰ حَيَا وَلَا تَجِدَنَّهُمْ Without any doubt, you will find them. أَحْرَاسَ النَّاسِ To be the most greediest of people عَلَىٰ حَيَا For their life, for this life. وَمِنَ الَّذِينَ أَشْرَكُوا And they'll be even greedier for the life than the mushrikeen. يَوَدُّ أَحَدُهُمْ لَوْ يُعَمَّرُ أَلْفَسَنَا Each of them wishes that he would be granted a life of a thousand years. You know, they hope that we'll get 1,000 years. وَمَا هُوَ بِمُزَحْزِحِهِ مِنَ الْعَذَابِ أَنْ يُعَمَّرْ However, even if he, if they were granted this life, it would be, it would not, وَمَا هُوَ بِمُزَحْزِحِهِ مِنَ الْعَذَابِ أَنْ يُعَمَّرْ It would not, it would not save him من العذاب from the punishment. وَاللَّهُ بَصِيرٌ بِمَا يَعْمَرُونَ Allah is ever watchful over what they do. Over uh, so even this is not only Bani Israel, but even the even nowadays too. There are some Muslims, even the kuffar, other people, they want to, they want this life. They are very greedy, very greedy for this world. And they are um, they want to, you know, have so many wishes and they want to have they want to have a thousand year, thousand of year, one thousand years so that they can live. And you know, they want this this wish granted to them, right? But this is nothing, this will get this will bring the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is uh, he is watchful and he knows everything he is he uh, he knows everything what they do and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says قُلْ مَا كَانَ عَدُوَ لِجِبِيلَ فَإِنَّهُ right Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says قُلْ مَا كَانَ عَدُوَ they tell them, tell us uh, whoever is an enemy of Islam. Basically, when one of the uh, the Jewish leaders was told, brought the revelation to Rasulullah sallallahu he said that the Jews cannot believe, they cannot believe in Rasulullah sallallahu because Jibreel is their enemy since he also brings punishment to people. So that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, tell them, O oh, Rasulullah, man kana aduwa li Jibreel, whoever is an enemy of Jibreel alayhi salam, فَإِنَّهُ نَزَّلَهُ عَلَىٰ قَلْبِكَ That by Allah's قَلْبِكَ بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ Whoever is the enemy of Jibreel alayhi salam, let him die in his anger because Allah's command, right? Jibreel alayhi salam has brought to your heart the Qur'an بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ which the Qur'an which confirms, which supports لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ what comes before it. وَهُدَى and which is a guidance وَبُشْرَى الْمُؤْمِينَ and it brings good news for the believers مَنْ كَانَ عَدُوًا لِلَّهِ وَمَلَائِكَتِهِ وَرُسُلِهِ وَجْبِرِي لَوْمِكَ لَفَإِنَّ اللَّهَ عَدُوًا لِلْكَافِرِينَ 
And whoever is the enemy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, man kana aduwan lillah, whoever is the enemy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wa malaika and his angels, wa rusuli and his messengers, prophets, wa jibreel and jibreel alayhi salam, wa mika'il, mika'il alayhi salam, fa inna Allah aduwan lil kafi, then Allah certainly definitely is the enemy of the kafirun, of the disbelievers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then says, wa laqad anzalna ilayka ayati min bayinat, wa laqad anzalna, right, when the, when the Bani Israel, when the Jews said that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam did not bring anything, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he replied by saying, we have certainly, we have certainly revealed clear ayat to you, clear signs to you, right? It is only the, that they are, uh, they, are, they are doing wrong. They are the ones who are doing wrong and they are the one who reject in these signs. They are, these are the, they are the one who reject in these ayahs. وَكُلَّمَا عَاهَدُوا عَهْدًا نَبَذَهُ فَرِيقٌ مِّنْهُمْ وَكُلَّمَا عَاهَدُوا Whenever they make a promise, when they make a promise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they will accept the, the prophethood and the risala of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, عَهْدَهُ عَهْدًا نَبَذَهُ فَرِيقٌ مِّنْهُمْ And so a group from amongst them breaks it. بَلْ أَكْثَرُهُمْ لَا يُعْنُمُونَ بَلْ أَكْثَرُهُمْ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ The truth is that most of them do not have iman. Because they have no conviction that, and they do not fear and breaking the, their promise that they make with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ رَسُولٌ مِّنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ When a messenger, a Rasul messenger, right, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam comes to them مِّنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ مُصَدِّقٌ لِمَا مَعَهُمْ It comes to them from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. مُصَدِّقُ لِمَا مَعَهُمْ which con uh, confirms that which is with them نَبَذَ فَرِيقٌ مِنَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابِ a group from amongst them فَرِيقٌ مِنَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابِ those who, who, who those who have been given the book meaning the Torah they نَبَذَ what do they do? they throw the book they throw the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala كِتَابَ اللَّهِ كِتَابَ كِتَابَ اللَّهِ وَرَاءَ ظُهُورِهِمْ that uh, they, uh, they throw the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala behind their backs as if they have no knowledge and they pretend that they don't they, they know nothing then they, they know nothing about the, the Torah what it says and about the Risada and about the arrival of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa that's how they would act and next Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he, ta he talks about um, the that the Jews, whatever the shaitan, whatever they, whatever they they advertised, whatever they would say, right? During the mulk, during the reign of the of the of, of Sulaiman Ali Salam. That they would say that Sulaiman Ali Salam practiced black magic, and that's what they were saying that you know he practiced black magic, and he was he was there for a kafir and this and that. The Jews at the time they were saying this about Sulaiman Ali Salam, and then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala revealed this ayah saying, "What tabrumat shayatun ala mulku Sulaiman?" That the they go by what uh, the shayatin say, you know, the whatever the, the who the Jews. The Bani Israel, they would do this. They would follow whatever Shaitan would say at the time of Sulaiman alayhi salam. Wa ma kafara Sulaiman. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that, look, you guys are wrong. Sulaiman alayhi salam never committed kufr. Sulaiman alayhi salam never disbelieved in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa lakinna shayateen kafaru. But however, the shayateen, wa lakinna shayateen kafaru yu'allimun al-nas. But the shayateen were kufar. They were, they, were the, they were the one who disbelieved by teaching black magic to the people. Right? They taught black magic to the people. They also taught them that which that which the basically the principles of the black magic was revealed to the two angels. Which two angels? Upon two angels, Bibabil, Harut, Harut, and Marut. In Babylon, the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that they, they, were, they also taught them. Um, the the shayatin also taught them, taught them taught the people what that which was revealed to the two angels Harut and Marut in ba Babylon. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala sent these two angel to sent these two angels to teach black magic so the people could save so could they can save themselves from its harm. But what they did they did opposite. 
right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent, them, uh, sent these two angels so that they can protect themselves. But what they did is that وَمَا يُعَلِّمَانِ مِنْ أَحَدٍ حَتَّى يَقُولَ إِنَّمَا نَحْنُ فِتْنَةٌ فَلَا تَكْفُرْ That first, the, these angels, they said what? The two never taught anyone without first telling them. What did they do? Uh, without advising them. وَمَا يُعَلِّمَانِ مِنْ أَحَدٍ حَتَّى يَقُولَ أَنْ تَوْدَ They would tell them إِنَّمَا نَحْنُ فِتْنَةٌ حَتَّى يَقُولَ إِنَّمَا نَحْنُ فِتْنَةٌ فَلَا تَكْفُرْ That we are merely a test for you. فَلَا تَكْفُرْ So do not commit kufr. Do not disbelieve by misusing the knowledge of black magic. فَيَتَعَلَّمُونَ مِنْهُمَا مَا يُفَرِّقُونَ بِهِ So they learned it from the two of them. Such things by anyone who was dead. فَيَتَعَلَّمُونَ مِنْهُمَا مَا يُفَرِّقُونَ بِهِ بَيْنَ الْمَرْءِ وَزَوْجِ That uh, they learned such things with the black magic, right? And which they could separate. بَيْنَ الْمَرْءِ وَزَوْجِ They can separate. وَمَا هُمْ بِضَارِّينَ بِهِ مِنْ أَحَدٍ إِلَّا بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ However, they can never harm anyone with it, with the black magic, without Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's command, without Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's permission. Some people, they think that, okay, this black magic is done. Oh, it happened because, you know, that person did this, that, no. This only happens only with the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This cannot happen without Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's command, without Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's permission. وَيَتَعَلَّمُونَ مَرْهُمْ وَلَا يَنْفَعُهُمْ And they, they all, uh, after we تعلمون ما يضرهم ولا ينفعهم, they learn, wait, they learn the black, ما يضرهم ولا ينفعهم, they learn these things, right? ما يضرهم is harmful to them in the akhirah, obviously, ولا ينفعهم, and it did not do any good to them, it did not benefit them. ولقد عليموا, definitely, uh, definitely. Without any doubt, the Jews, the Bani Israel, knew that لمن اشترى ما له لمن اشتراه ما له في الآخرة that there is no share in the آخرة in Jannah who purchased ما له في الآخرة who purchased it who purchased the black magic, right? There is no they knew that they knew this the without any doubt the Jews knew that there is no share in the آخرة in Jannah for those for the ones who purchased. Uh, who and for those who purchased, meaning the one who practiced it, the one who practiced black magic, the one who did black magic. Ishtarahu Allah says purchased it, but here it means those who practiced black magic, who did black magic. Malahu fil akhirat min khalaq, wala bi sama sharobi, right? Wala bi sama sharobihi and fusahum. That evil indeed is the price for which they have sold their soul, so bi and fusahum, that they have sold themselves. Law kan wa yalamun, if only they knew, if only they understood. If only they understood the true results of their action, then they would not have traded their good fortune in the akhirah for a short time, for a short term, for the you know, for the pleasures of this world. Because this, uh, Allah Subhanahu wa sent these two angels to test them and told them not to disbelieve, but they, but um, they disbelieved in Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and they took this and they started uh, doing black magic on people, and they started you know separating between husband and wife. They started they started causing problems. They started causing, you know, they started doing fitna. So the, they started, you know, they sold themselves, they sold their souls and for Jannah, right? And they made themselves a place, they made a self for them in the hellfire in Jahannam. May Allah want to protect us and may Allah protect everyone from black magic. So obviously it's a it's a very harmful thing for a person, for a family, and for the Ummah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he continues, That if the, آمنوا, if the Jews, they had Iman, then, meaning if the Jews, they had Iman, they believed in Rasulullah sallallahu and the Quran, and adopted taqwa, right? meaning stay away from black magic, uh, then the, uh, adopted taqwa, and the reward with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the best for them. No can we alamun if only they knew, if only they understood that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward is better and that they would uh, they would have never um, you know they would have they wouldn't have to go through uh, they wouldn't have to go in Jahannam. Right? If only they knew. 
if only they adopted taqwa, they believed in Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and if they had iman, they believed in Allah, the reward is, the reward of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is the best for them. لَمَثُوبَةٌ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ خَيْرٌ is the best for them. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala talks about the next ayah, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا لَا تَقُولُوا رَاعِنَا O you who believe, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا O you who have iman, لَا تَقُولُوا رَاعِنَا Do not say it to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We add an insult in the language. Right? The Jews, they will say this, رَاعِنَا رَاعِنَا So it was an insult in the language of the Jews, but in Arabic, it's just رَاعِنَا means to just basically consider us. But the Jews, therefore, used to use this word as an insult when speaking to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The mu'min were therefore commanded to not use this word. But rather, لا تقول رعينا وقول انظرنا but rather to say انظرنا which has the same meaning in Arabic but the Jews could not use this as an insult in their language right? which was a, which has the same meaning in Arabic but the Jews could not use it as an insult in their language so that's what they, they would say رعينا but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say no rather say say انظرنا واسمعوا and listen to what you are commanded and obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلِلْكَافِرِينَ عَذَابٌ And even painful punishment is in store for the, for the disbelievers. For the believe, disbelievers, there is painful punishment. مَا يَوَدُّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ The kafirun, the disbelievers from the Ahlul الْكِتَابِ and وَالْمُشْرِكِينَ right, from amongst the Arab. ما يود الذين كفروا من أهل الكتاب ولا المشركين. The 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 kafir from the أهل الكتاب and from the مشركين among the Arab. They do not like that any good. ما يود الذين كفروا من أهل الكتاب ولا المشركين. They do not like that any good should be. And you nazzal alaykum min khayr min rabbikum. That any good should be revealed to you from your Lord, to the Muslim, basically. Wallahu yakhtassu bi rahmati ma yasha. But however, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he, he concentrates, he focuses, uh, yakhtassu, he specifies his mercy, rahmatihi ma yasha, to whoever he wants. Wallahu dhul fadlil azim. And Allah is the one, Allah is one of great kindness. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he talks about مَا نَنْسَخْ مِنْ آيَةٍ أَوْ نُنْسِهَا نَأْتِ بِخَيْرٍ مِّنْهَا أَوْ مِثْلِهَا So when the, when the kuffar, when the disbelievers used to tease the Muslims about the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that were, the, that were cancelled, right? That basically there were some that they were cancelled. Allah replied to them by saying مَا نَنْسَخْ مِنْ آيَةٍ Whenever we cancel any verse مَا نَنْسَخْ مِنْ آيَةٍ أَوْ نُنْسِهَا or cause it to be forgotten. We bring something better, meaning something easier or something more rewarding, or something equal to it, something similar to it. Do you not know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ala kulli shayin Allah ala kulli shayin qadeer, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has power, he has control over all things. Allah, therefore, he has the right to cancel or give as he pleases. Or he would mock the kuffar or they would mock the, oh, look, see, this. obviously, whatever was revealed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, just for the moment, obviously, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all wise, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's any, he's mentioning that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has power and control over all things. So, Allah, therefore, he has the right. He has the right to cancel or to give commandments, whatever, as he pleases, because he is the khalaq, he is the he is our creator, and he is uh, our he is the Lord who has power over everything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then says, Do you not know that that for him is the, the kingdom, the control of the samawati wal ard of the heavens and the skies and the earth belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Do you not know that? Besides him. You have no protecting waliyin uh, wala nasir. You have no one protecting as a friend or as a guardian, nor any helper other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who can save you from Allah's punishment when it comes? Who will care for you? No one. 
Right? Only, only who can do it, only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can if you believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Am turiduna an tas'alu rasulakum? Or do you wish to ask your messenger? Am turiduna an tas'alu rasulakum? Do you ask, do you wish to ask your messenger to ask Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Um, kama su'ila Musa min qabl? Do you wish to ask uh, your messenger? Right? Kama su'ila Musa min qabl? Like how Musa alayhi salam was asked before? Meaning, do you wish to ask your messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam, to make miracles, to, you know, like how Musa alayhi salam was asked before, to make uh, Allah visible, basically, right, in front of the Jews. The one who exchanges iman for kufr has certainly. Has certainly, definitely has strayed away from the straight path, from the path of the truth, from the path of haq. Do not become of those who who have doubt, right? Like the, the Jews had doubt and they asked Musa alayhi salam, show us Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, don't be like those people, don't be like the Bani Israel. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, ود كثير من أهل الكتاب لو يردونكم من بعد إيمانكم كفارا that ود كثير من أهل الكتاب many of the أهل الكتاب would love to return you to being ود كثير من أهل الكتاب لو يردونكم من بعد إيمانكم كفارا the many of the أهل الكتاب would love to return you to being كافر right disbelieve in Allah سبحانه وتعالى after you have become a believer من بعد إيمانكم after we became a believer. Hasadam min indi and fusihim. Right? This is because of hasad, because of jealousy from within them. Min indi and fusihim. From within themselves. Min baadi ma tabayyana lahum al haq. After the truth has become tabayyan. After the truth has becoming, uh, become apparent, has become clear to them. Fa'afu wasfahu hatta ya'ati Allah bi amri. So then, overlook, pardon them, pardon them, until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he sends his command. His command, what command? To wage, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Rasulullah said, go now, go attack them. Be patient, forgive them, overlook them, you know, without taking all the time to you because of what the kuffar did, they have, they did. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then later on, he said, go attack them. Inna Allah ala kulli shayin qadir, and definitely, verily, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has control over all things. Wa aqimu salata wa atu zakah, again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, establish salah, pay zakah. Wa ma tuqaddimu li anfusikum min khayrin tajiduhu intullah. وما تقدم لأنفسكم من خير that you shall find with Allah سبحانه وتعالى من خير whatever is good acts you have sent من خير تجدوه عند الله whatever whatever acts you have you you did and you sent forward for you you sent forward من خير تجدوه عند الله you will find with Allah the rewards of whatever good action you have did you have sent ahead for yourself إن الله بما تعبدون بصير verily Allah سبحانه وتعالى he is all seeing of what you do. وَقَالُوا لَنْ يَدُقُلَ الْجَنَّةَ إِلَّا مَنْ كَانَ هُودًا أَوْ نَصَارًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying in the next ayah, in the next verse, referring basically to the claim that the Bani Yisrael, that the Jews, only that they will enter Jannah. And the, the Christians also, they say that only they will enter Jannah. So Allah says, وَقَالُوا لَنْ يَدُخُلَ الْجَنَّةَ إِلَّا مَنْ كَانَ هُودًا أَوْ نَصَرًا That they say, no one but a Jew or a Christian لَنْ يَدُخُلَ الْجَنَّةَ إِلَّا مَنْ كَانَ هُودًا أَوْ نَصَرًا No one but a Jew or a Christian will enter Jannah. تِلْكَ أَمَانِيُّهُمْ This is their hope. False hope, obviously. قُلْ هَاتُوا Tell them. هَاتُوا بُرْهَانَكُمْ Bring forward your proof, evidence, right? Only that you will enter Jannah. إِن كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ If you are truthful. Bala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, next verse he says, Bala, not at all, never. 
bala man aslama wajhahu lillah in fact the one who aslama wajhahu lillah the one who surrenders himself to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa huwa muhsin and he does righteous deeds righteous actions only for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's sake falahu ajruhu 'inda rabbi and he shall find his reward with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wala khawfun 'alayhim there he shall not have there will be no fear on such people wala hum yahzanun nor there shall be any grief the next verse allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa qalat al yahud laysat al nasara 'ala shay the jews say wa qalat al yahud laysat al nasara 'ala shay the yahud the jews they say that laysat al nasara 'ala shay the christians have nothing they do not have a true religion basically they have nothing wa qalat al nasara they have they have no religion the christians have nothing to stand on right وَقَالَتِ النَّصَارَى وَا دَ كُشْنَ دَيْسِي The Jews have nothing. They have no true book, no true religion to stand on. وَهُمْ يَتْلُونَ الْكِتَابِ Whereas they both are, recite, they recite the book of Allah, meaning the Torah and the Injil. Whereas the Torah is for the Jews mentioned, right? Uh, وَهُمْ يَتْلُونَ الْكِتَابِ كَذَارِكَ قَارِ الَّذِينَ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ مِثْلَ قَوْلِهِمْ so those who have those who have no knowledge say they don't they don't they don't have they don't have no knowledge uh, meaning the obviously the arab mushikin and others they say exactly what they say like them allah subhanahu wa ta'ala between them يوم القيامة and the day of قيامة في ما كانوا في about which they differ. Well, he will then allow the following the true to enter. He will allow the me to enter into Jannah, and those who enter Jahannam will enter Jahannam. And the next verse, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is saying, "وَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ مَنَعَ مَسَاجِدَ اللَّهِ Who can do greater? Who can do more wrong? مِمَّنْ مَنَعَ مَسَاجِدَ The one who prevents the name of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. From being taken in the masjid, who can be more of a oppressor? Who can be more wrong than the one who prevents the name of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala from being taken in the masjid? In youth, karafiha smuhu wa saafi kharabiha. Right? Um, who can be more wrong? Man adzla mimma man amasadi Allah in youth, karafiha smuhu wa saafi kharabiha. Who can do? Who can be more wrong? Who can be more oppressor? Who can be more of a oppressor than the one who prevents the name of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala from being taken in the masjid, and who does not? Who, who does all he can do to destroy it? Kharabi right? had to destroy it. He does everything, right? There can be no worse evil. There's nothing, meaning the, the, the a person who prevents people from salah from dikir. Who's more worse than that, right? There is no one that can be worse. This reverse, this verse, this ayah refers to basically to the occasion when the Beit al-Maqdis was destroyed, right? As well as the uh, when Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi and the believers, the Muslims, were prevented from visiting Masjid al-Haram. So Allah subhanahu wa taala is telling the, the Muslims to take action against the wrongdoers, right? Even even obviously, even no one is worse than the person who prevents. The people from remembering Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and from going to the masjid, hey, that's the worst. That's, that's the worst evil a person can do. Such people may only enter the masjid, only enter the masjid in fear. Such people may only enter the masjid, or the only they will only enter them in fear. And for them, they shall be there should be disgrace, humiliation. In this world and in the hereafter, there will be fil akhirati adabun azim. There will be disgrace in this world and there will be terrible punishment in the hereafter. There will be terrible, painful punishment in the hereafter. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when the, the Bani Israel and the Jews, they figured out. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala changed the qibla from, uh, for, the, uh, for the Muslims, right? From Baytul Maqdis to the Kaaba. So, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then, uh, so, when the Jews found out that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala changed the Qibla from Baytul Maqdis to Kaaba, that uh, the person on, there was a person outside, outside of ta- town, performing Salah, and he can perform Salah any direction, right? They mocked, the, they basically started making fun of the Muslims, that, um, or oh, what is this? You know, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in response, he made it clear and he said, to Allah belongs the east and west, the entire world. Wherever you turn in salah, right? By Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala command, you will find Allah's you will find Allah's presence there, meaning you'll be facing the qibla. Definitely Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy is all encompassing and very vast, very wide, and he is also very knowing he is very he is, is all knowing so they started mocking but oh, what is this you know so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that he uh, he is for uh, belongs the east and west belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa qalu takhad Allah waladan subhana then they meaning the Christians and the Jews they say it takhad Allah waladan subhana Allah has taken a son Subhana, Allah said Allah is pure. He is pure from any defect, from wanting any children. But lahu ma fi samawat, but rather, but lahu ma fi samawati wal ard, rather to him belongs whatever is in the skies and the heavens. Kullu lahu qanitun, and all are, they are all, um, they all submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to him and alone. I mean, they follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whatever he commands. Kullu lahu qanitun. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He says Badi'u samawati wal ard Allah is the Badi'u The creator of the heavens and the earth Wa idha qada amra And Wa idha qada amran When he decides or when he wants to create Or when he ordains When he decides something Qada amran Fa inna ma yaqul lahu kun fayakun He merely just says Be and it becomes what he want, what he wanted. Allah is showing his power. He's saying, you know, when he wants something, when he wants to do, do, when he decides to do something, he just says, "Kun and be," and it becomes. It becomes. وَقَالَ الَّذِينَ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ لَوْلَا يُكَلِّمُنَ اللَّهَ And those who قَالَ الَّذِينَ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ those without knowledge, the kuffar, right? Laula yukallimun Allah say to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa why does Allah those without knowledge la ya'lamuna those without knowledge may the kuffar say to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa why does Allah not speak to us laula yukallimun Allah why does Allah not speak to us aw ta'tina ayah or or why does he not show us a sign to prove that you are an actual prophet that you are a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kadhalika qala alladhina la ya'lamun those before kadhalika qala alladhina min qablihim uh, same way, similarly, those before them said the exact same thing to the prophets of their time. Right? This is the same thing. This is the same thing. Um, and their, um, their hearts are also the same, meaning filled with kufr, filled with disbelief and stubbornness. Right? We have already expounded we have already explained, we have made it clear, the ayat, the verses for those who have conviction in the ayahs and who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who believe in them. And the next Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna arsalnaka bil haqq bashira wa nadira. That definitely we have sent you Bilhaq with the truth, Bashira wa Nadira as a carrier of good news. Wala tus alwan ashai bil jahim. Bashira wa Nadira as a the truth um, as a carrier of good news and also as a warning also. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with the haq bashira and good glad tidings and glad tidings for those who believe in Nadira and he has sent you as a Nadir. As a warning to those who refuse to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
wala tusalu an ashab al jahim and you will not be questioned about the people of the jahim about fire blazing fire about those in the fire of jahannam allah will not ask you why they did not believe because it's your duty your duty is to give them the message and not to force them right allah subhanahu is telling us to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he would feel very sad he would be worried and say that you know obviously rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was sent as a rahmat lil alamin and he had this fikr and this concern for the ummah so he would obviously he would be concerned all the time so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to tell him that look we obviously sent you we sent you as a glad tidings uh, giving glad tidings to the believers and a warner for those who do not believe but at the same time we're not going to ask you we're not going to uh, we're not going to say about those people in jahannam that oh why did they not why did they not believe because your duty is that to just send the message and you can't really force them to believe right we leave that to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the next ay allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa lan tarda anka al-yahud wa al-nasara that the jews and the christian yahud wa al-nasara lan tarda allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the jews and the christian will never be pleased will never be satisfied with you until until you fall right that's why they will try everything for muslim to make them follow the their lifestyle the jews and the christian will, will try to make you follow their lifestyle their the way how they do things right they will never be pleased with you until you follow their religion qul say inna hudallahi wal huda the true guidance from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the true path to haq hudallah is only from the guidance from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which is islam wala in ittaba'ta ahwa'ahum if you were ever to follow their ways the religion when it about the who are um right by the lady jack in a line after the knowledge after the revelation of after the wahi that has come to you then what would happen malak i mean allah me what do you want to see then we have to then you have allah swt saying then you will have no friend no one to protect you no helper no one to protect you against the punishment of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says alladhina atinahum alkitaba yatluna haqqa tilawati those who we have given who recited haqqa tilawati as it rightfully should be meaning as the way how it deserved to be recited right ulaiki yu'minuna bi and the ones and they believe in it those who believe in it meaning this um i refers to this verse refers to a group of christians uh um, abyssinia who accept islam at the hands of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa man yakfur bi and whoever denies it meaning uh, denies uh, whoever rejects it whoever disbelieves fa ulaika hum al-khasirun they should definitely surely be amongst those who are the losers um al khasirun they are the losers because they will suffer, because they will they will be the one who will suffer in jahannam and then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again he talks about the bani israel he says ya bani israel adhkuru ni'mati allati an'amtu alaykum o bani israel the children, children of israel remember my favors that i gave you right to your forefathers and i have preferred you and i'mtu alaykum anni faddaltukum al alamin above the universe of the people of the time wattaqu fear the day wattaqu yawma la tajzi nafsun an nafs fear the day the day of judgment when one soul will not pay anything right towards another wala yuqbalu an wala an nafs shay wala yuqbalu minha adl and wala wala yuqbalu minha adl wala tanfa'uha shafa'a and no no rights will be taken and and no intercession will also be accepted wala tanfa'uha shafa'a no intercession will be accepted wala hum yansarun and they will not be helped I mean the kuffar will not be helped and no they will not be rescued from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fear for the day of qiyama there will be no one that that will, that will intercede for you for the kuffar and there will be no ransom and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he goes on he talks wa idhi batala ibrahim rabbuh that remember the time when his rab 
right? Allah subhanahu wa tested Ibrahim alayhi salam. We betala Ibrahim and Allah subhanahu wa tested Ibrahim alayhi salam. Rabbuhu bi kalimatin fa atamahun with certain words, with certain commands, which he fa atamahun, which he completed, which he fulfilled. Qala inni jailu kalim nas imama. I am going to make you a leader and imam of the people, right? Ibrahim said, and from my offspring. Meaning, will, will you not make them leaders as well? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he replied, My promise of leadership will not extend to, it will not go to the, those who are the oppressors, meaning the disbelievers of kuffar. وَإِذْ جَعَلْنَا الْبَيْتَ مَثَابَةً لِلنَّاسِ وَأَمْنَةً Remember also the time when what? When we made the house. جَعَلْنَا الْبَيْتَ مَثَابَةً A gathering place للناس for the people throughout the world. وَأَمْنَةً And a place of safety. A place of, uh, safe, a place of safety. وَاتَّخِذُ مِنْ مَقَامِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ مُصَلَّةً Right? And then take the مَقَامْ إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَاتَّخِذُ مِنْ مَقَامِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ مُصَلَّةً and take the Maqam Ibrahim as a place of Salah. As a place of Salah. Meaning the stone wood on which Ibrahim السلام, stood while building the Kaaba. That's called Maqam Ibrahim. Um, you've seen it. Those people, if they went for uh, Hajj Umrah, they, next to the Kaaba, there's like a golden you know, cage looking thing. So that's Maqam. In there, there's basically a stone on which Ibrahim السلام, would, would stand on it and he would build the Kaaba. It would go up and down. Right, so that's called the Maqam Ibrahim. So Allah Subhanahu says, "What takhidu min Maqam Ibrahim wa Musalla?" And take the Maqam Ibrahim uh, as a place of salah, meaning a place behind which you perform uh, two rakats salah after tawaf. Right? The place where after tawaf you make your two rakats salah, meaning you behind there. That's where you pray salah behind there. Wa ahidna ila Ibrahim, and then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says. And we command Ibrahim alayhi salam wa'ahidna ila Ibrahim wa Ismaila an tahira bayt al-ta'ifin we command Ibrahim alayhi salam and Ismail alayhi salam tahir bayt al-ta'ifin and tahir that to clean, remove the idols from my house, tahir bayti my house, meaning the Kaaba al-ta'ifin for those who do tawaf, for those who perform tawaf wal-aakifin wa al-rukai sujood and for those who stay in it and those who do ruku, and those who make sajda, meaning referring to those who perform salah there. Warraqai sujood. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentioned after that, remember when Ibrahim Ibrahim, Rabbi ja'al hadha, remember when Ibrahim alayhi salam said, Rabbi ja'al hadha balada, remember when Ibrahim alayhi salam said, that oh my Rabb, that make this, right, this city, Make this a city, make this the city of Mecca. هذا بلد آمنا ورزق أهله من الثمرة. The Ibrahim alayhi salam he said, Oh my Rabb, make this the city of Mecca, a city of safety. آمنا ورزق أهله and feed with the fruit with fruits. Right, رزق أهله those who are inhabitants and من الثمر من from from the fruits. Those who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Man amana minhum billahi wal yawm al-akhir. The one who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the last day. Qala wa man kafar. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, as for, those, as for the one who carries out the kufr, who disbelieves in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fawmati'uhu qalilan. Thumma atarruhu ila adhab al-nar. I shall grant him enjoyment for umati'uhu qalilan for a short while. After that then. Thumma atarruhu then. I will drive him. I will compel him into the the punishment into the punishment of, of the fire adab al nar will be said and it is the worst place to be that is the worst place to be meaning the fire the jahannam and then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said wa id yarfa'u ibrahim al qawa'id min al bayt wa ismail remember ibrahim id yarfa'u ibrahim when ibrahim alayhi salam said when ibrahim alayhi salam uh, when, when Ibrahim alayhi salam and Ismail alayhi salam when Ibrahim alayhi salam and um, when Ibrahim and Ismail alayhi salam they, 
raising the, the foundation of the house of the Kaaba. And they said, Rabbana taqabbal minna. What did they say? Rabbana taqabbal minna, oh, oh Lord. Rabbana taqabbal minna, innaka anta samir alim. Oh, our Lord, accept from us, right, the effort of building the Kaaba. Innaka anta samir, indeed, you are the all Samir, you are all hearing and Alim, you're all knowing. You hear our dua, you hear our prayer, and you know our intention and actions. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and then Rabbana waj'alna muslimayn ilak. The two right, prayed and made dua, and they said, Ya Rabb, O oh Lord, waj'alna muslimayn ilak wa min dhurriyatina, make us obedient to you, and make, and make from our offsprings and from our progeny, from our descendants, a dhurriyatina ummah, a nation, a group, muslimatan lak, that is also obedient to you. Wa arina manasikana, and show us, you know, teach us manasikana, wa tub alayna, and accept from us, accept our repentance, wa tub alayna, accept our repentance, innaka anta tawabur rahim, verily indeed you are the most forgiving, and al-rahim, and you are the most merciful. Although, although they were sinless, obviously they were anbiya, they asked for forgiveness because they were humble. And this was, why did they do this? So they could teach the people, so they can teach the ummah, the people off, after them, to ask for forgiveness after every good act. Right? They are sinless, but this is, this is to show that when even us, we aren't sinless. We make, we do sins. But this, they're showing us, right? Ibrahim alayhi salam, Ismail alayhi salam, they're showing us that, okay, when you do something, they were humble. They were humble and they... The, and they don't, they did this to teach the people that okay, when you do something good, ask for forgiveness, even after salah, right? What do we do? Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. Well, we did something bad. People, when they when someone does something wrong, well, astaghfirullah, what did you do? Oh, after a good act, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness because there are many shortcomings that, that come from us, and we, um, we are insan and we make uh, we can't do anything, we can't do a proper job, but right? we can't. We are unable to pray properly, so we ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to forgive us. And Ibrahim alayhi salam and Ismail alayhi salam, they they did this to to teach us and out of humble, uh, they were humble. And then next, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, they they also they they made dua again. They said, "Rabbana ba'athihim rasula, O Lord, O Rabb, send to them, meaning to our descendants. Rabbana ba'athihim rasula, a messenger, minhum matlu alayhim ayatik from amongst them that they that meaning." who will recite your verses, your ayahs to them. الكتاب, and teach them the book hikmah and wisdom, right? Uh, the Mufassir, they say the wisdom here, the sunnah and the whatever, the, um, the from the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And to, prefer, to purify them from shirk, innaka antal aziz al hakim. Verily, you are the, the most uh, mighty and hakim, the most wise. And only the one who only the one who makes a fool of himself will turn away from the religion of Ibrahim We definitely chose him, meaning Ibrahim السلام, in this world, and he'll be amongst the righteous in the akhirah. When when his Rabb told him, when his Rabb, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Ibrahim alayhi uh, salam, Aslim, surrender your soul, your will and your soul. He replied, Aslam to the Rabbil Alameen. I surrender myself and I devote myself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Rabb of the universe. Wasa ibiha Ibrahim wa banihu Yaqub. Wasa ibiha Ibrahim wa banihu Yaqub. Ibrahim alayhi salam and Yaqub, Yaqub alayhi salam advised their son. They said, What? Uh, about about following Islam, saying that, Ya Baniya inna Allah has Safa, O my sons, verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has Istafa, inna Allah has Safa alaikum din, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen this deen for you. Fala tamutunna, do not die, right? Fala tamutunna illa wa antum Muslimun, so only die as Muslim, do not die until you become Muslim in this manner. This is how they told their, they, they told the Muslims, they told their sons to remain as Muslims until they die, right? This is their wasiya, this was their. Uh, will you know how many of us give this the, we tell our children that look do not only die as a muslim follow the commandments of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make sure you follow the footsteps of rasulullah follow the sunnah of rasulullah the first thing is that where is your inheritance how much property is he gonna get how many what's the money how much money is he gonna get how much money is she gonna get that's all okay let me let me distribute my will 
Okay, your will should be taqwa. Your will, your whatever you have to advise your children about taqwa, about fearing Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, about following the commandments of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Money is gonna go and go. It's gonna come and leave. People are gonna get this money. It's the one day they have it, the next day they'll spend it. You know, we don't know what's gonna happen, but at least advise them something that they will they can get jannah with. They can attain the closeness, the nearness of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala with. Right, this is very important. If you if you don't give your children money, wealth, success, it doesn't matter. But if you can give them the sunnah, you can give them the, the knowledge about Islam and you can teach them about Rasulullah teach them about Islam and the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you are the most successful parent. Even though if you don't give them money or wealth to them, but the biggest wealth is what? Iman. If you can teach them Iman, you can teach them the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's the biggest wealth that you can teach your children. So imagine this is the Anbiya alayhi wasalam, they you know, give this advice to their children. So th those who have children, they should advise their children over and over again about taqwa and about following the deen, following the Islam, following Sharia, following Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I'm kuntum shuhada Yaqub al maut in the next ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, when the Jews told Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that Yaqub advised his son to remain, to remain devoted to Judaism. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed this ayah saying that, oh, or were you, I'm going to show that, were you present when Islam, Allah subhanahu wa were there? You know, really, were you present when the death present, when the, when the death came to Yaqub alayhi salam? When he asked his son, what will you worship after my death? They replied, we will worship your ilah, meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wa ilaha abaik, and the, also the, the ilah of your forefathers, meaning the, uh, the your forefather, Ibrahim alayhi salam, or Ismail and Ibrahim Ismail alayhi salam, or Ishaq and Ishaq alayhi salam. Right? We shall worship him, ilaha wahida, who is only one in ilah, one only one, only one ilah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa nahnu lahum muslimun, and we surrender, and we obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, him and all. Right. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, no, you don't know. You weren't even there. How do you know? You, uh, he didn't say to devote to Judaism. No. Na'budu ilah. You're about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and of your forefathers, Ibrahim alayhi salam. Ismail alayhi salam. Surrender to uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And then uh, the last verse, Allah uh, Tilka ummatun qad khalat laha ma kasabat. Tilka Ummatun, the Ibrahim alayhi salam, Yaqub alayhi salam, the children, right, were a group who have passed on. Qad khalat. Laha ma kasabat, walakum ma kasabtum, to their benefit will be the actions they have earned. Wala tusaluna, and to, and, and, sorry, and to your benefit will be the actions that you earn, the actions that you do, right? You will not be, wala tusaluna amma kan yamalun, you will not be questions about what they did you do your deed you do your right good deeds and they, they did their deeds you do your actions they do the actions they're gonna do, they did their actions it's your time to do your your deeds make sure you do your actions because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask you about what they did he'll ask you about what you did what good deeds did you do Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to ask you what did you do did you do right things did you obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did you accept Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Did you believe in Allah? For Allah is going to ask you, what did you do? Did you pray your salah? Did you give your zakah? Did you, Allah is going to ask you, okay, were you kind? Were you nice? Did you respect your parents? Did you, were you good with your relatives? Right? All these things Allah is going to ask you. Allah is going to ask not your friend. Allah is not going to ask about you, about your friend. No, Allah is going to ask you what you did. So you have to be because no one's going to be with you in your grave. You're going to be alone in the grave. It's just you. Under the ground, six feet under the ground. Allah is going to ask you what you did. Uh, angels are going to ask, what did you do? What did you not do? So this is something that we have to keep in our mind. We'll end here for today, inshallah. Um, continue from the next aisle from basically 135. And then the last page of uh, the first, inshallah, we'll continue from there.
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us amongst the believers, right? Amongst those. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talked about Bani Israel, right? Why? So that we don't we don't be like them. Right? So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make those who not Samirna wa Asina, not that we listen and we disobey, or rather, like the Sahaba radiallahu anum, Samirna wa ta'ana, that we that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from amongst those who listen and who um obey. Okay, inshallah, we will end here for today. And hopefully after when I start it again, um, I don't know if my voice, because I'm saying audio is not good. ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكوننا من الخاسرين اللهم إنك عفو كريم تحب العفو فاعف عنا يا كريم اللهم اقض حاجاتنا واقض حاجات المسلمين اللهم ارزقنا تلاوته آناء الليل وآناء النهار واجعله لي حجة يا رب العالمين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم صلى الله على خير خلق محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين برحمتك يا رحم الله الحمد لله Any questions that anyone had? Assalamu alaikum.